What's going on guys and girls? I should have done that before I started this video. What's going on guys and girls? Chad and Boondock. I'm not sure if y'all have seen him since he had a haircut or not. He got his haircut a week or two ago. We've just been cleaning up some today. Trying to, I'm trying to sweep these floors and had a day off where I didn't have to use my wood stove. So that was kind of a nice break. Not having to keep filling it with wood and getting up in the middle of the night. But about to get cold again. So I'm going to clean that out now. Swap all my floors, clean the stove out, get it ready to ready to go for, I think they said tomorrow night it's going to really start getting cold again. But had a lot going on here in the last two weeks, I guess since the last video I posted, but that truck that I showed y'all, the F-150, I ended up selling that. It was a good truck, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted. And I put it back on Craigslist after I, you know, I really needed to get to the dump a couple of times cleaning up the shop and I needed to get a load of firewood. So it all worked out. You know, I, I made a little bit of money on the truck. I got to use it for a couple of weeks, got a lot done with it. And now I've, um, I've got my cash back up to where I need to determine what I need to do right now. And I've, uh, some of y'all know that I've been having issues with that Denali for the last two months. Uh, check engine light code and. I, you know, I'm not one to go to the dealer. I know most people will say, well, that's your problem. You should have gone to the dealer in the first place and not thrown parts at it. But truck has a lot of miles on it. And I was fine with uh, throwing parts at it because there was a lot of things that I wanted to replace anyway. Mainly all in the fuel and emissions side of the vehicle. But I finally got everything on that truck fixed this weekend. It's been uh, really weighing on my mind with this thing not running right and you know, sometimes when I have to leave for work, I have to travel three, four hundred miles in a day. So I uh, got that straight, and now I've been shopping all morning for tires. I want to put a new set of tires on that, and then it'll be where it needs to be. You know, to where I can park it. And I still plan to buy me another little truck. I'm just hoping to get one, you know, a cheaper vehicle, eight hundred to a thousand dollar, just old trash truck. I can put a farm use tag on. But, and also I want to I wanna buy some solar stuff so bad, but you know, it's, everything costs money and I've got big projects going on right now with no work coming in. But I have had three calls in the last two days for the RV repair, so that's nice. I'm really looking forward to, we've had a few spring-like days here in Virginia, and I think that's what's done it. You know, people, my ad, I keep it running on Craigslist now and the service is offered, but getting a few calls so that people are starting to get in the mood and the mindset for camping around here. I still need to get some flyers made up and do some advertising at my local campgrounds and grocery stores and gas stations and all, but looks like it might be a, a fun summer and if that's the case, you know, I plan to make some money and, and set it aside and, and uh, make some plans. So we'll see, I might even be taking a, a long distance trip here in the next year. All depends on what goes on here at the homestead. My mom might be selling this place in the next couple of years. and I don't know. Still a lot just we're talking about. But we're getting a lot of subscribers. I just wanted to say hello and thank you to each and every one of y'all. There's no real project going on today. I have a couple of things that I could share. Just little tips and tricks. But I'll save those until I'm really in the mood to make a, a little tips and tricks video. But... Today's my mom's birthday, so I plan to do something with her this evening, take her out to dinner or something. My buddy David, he had a meeting in town this morning. He caught a ride and had his bicycle taken with him. But we're supposed to start raining here in about two hours, and he's riding back from the downtown area towards the country, which is about 40 miles. But I'm going to let him get a little exercise today, and I'm going to pick him up around the West End area at about 3.30. So I need to leave here and about an hour and a half but so he don't have to make the whole trip back in the rain but yeah man I'm just rambling wanted to kind of touch base and let y'all know what's going on been a been a few real good days here lately like I said getting that Denali fixed and no computer issues because when that thing was having issues I was only getting nine miles to the gallon 
because it when the computer comes on it puts it in a limp mode or a default mode some 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 other kind of computer mode where the truck won't run right and once I got it all fixed and replaced everything that was bad it'll get about 17 miles to the gallon just riding around out here in the in the country and in the city which isn't bad at all for a one of the bigger SUVs on the market and it's all-wheel drive so very pleased with that I'm sure I can probably get 18 19 miles to the gallon out of it on the highway what else can we talk about I'm not gonna be careful with this music playing one of my last videos got copyrighted copyright they took it off because it had uh, music in the background I think that's gonna be about it man um, I am gonna be taking a short road trip here in the next couple of days I gotta get some propane so I'll probably ride down to Goochland another reason I've been cleaning up today getting all my dishes done and start locking everything down I'm normally always ready to go but not when I have a sink full of dishes and shit scattered all over the counters but I can tidy all this up in no time be ready to ride I'll let this rain come through first and then I'll go but I think that's gonna be about it for today on this update ramble I have um, had some conversations with a couple of other van dwellers and full-time RVers I know most of y'all are probably familiar with Chris Travels He's um, he contacted me where we chat, chatted briefly through the comments of a video the other day and I think when he heads back up from down south towards Alaska he might stop by or we might meet up somewhere and chat some get to know each other and look at each other's rigs but we'll see Chico is also coming up to spend a couple weeks or however long he wants to stay a couple days a couple weeks who knows hopefully he's gonna be departing Florida in March right around the first of March ish we'll see I need to give him a call this evening and get his latest plans but we'll see should be interesting this is gonna be a, a good year I can feel it I'm ready for this weather weather to break though I'm not uh, ever since I cut that finger man I tell you it does not like the cold weather so all right that's it y'all have a good day thank y'all for watching thank y'all for subscribing thanks for all the support positive comments all that good stuff if y'all want me to make a video of anything in particular let me know give me some ideas leave me a comment say hello and we'll talk to you soon see y'all later